Video games are usually off limits during the school day, but a science teacher in Cohoes is making an exception. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno shows us how he's including video games in his lessons and getting students excited to go to class. Carrie Winters has been teaching earth science for eight years, five of those here at Cohoes High School, and he's leveled up his lesson plan using a video game building software and somewhere between 60 and 70 hours of his own time. And it, it's funny because it takes them maybe like 90 minutes to beat it. But those 90 minutes are jam packed with the students mining for minerals and identifying them using their earth science reference table. They also have a worksheet that goes along with the game. Creating this lesson was a labor of love for Mr. Winters. An avid gamer himself, he knew it had to involve more than just the learning material to hold the students' attention. I find that the games that are most engaging for me are ones that have interesting storylines that you actually get invested in when you're playing the game. Like there's a big plot twist that happens at the end that kind of keeps them going. One of his students compared it to Pokemon. There are creatures that battle against one another and a boss to defeat at the end. You could hear a pin drop while the class was playing on the computers until we asked them what they think of Mr. Winter's lesson. Like playing a video game in school is not normal to kids, so I think it's very cool. It's different. It helps kids who might not be able to learn a certain way, otherwise learn the material. I don't like my math class and I only have 44 minutes of that. I have 88 minutes of this every other day, so I really like this class, so that really says something about Winters. Winters said the principal at Cohoes is supportive of this stray from the traditional pen and paper lecture, and he's already thinking of more games he can make. The good thing about earth science is it's very interdisciplinary. So maybe I could do like an astronomy one, maybe I could do like a meteorology one that features weather. Reporting in Cohoes, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.